थैंक्स इफ्लोस में इसी मंथ से 2014 में हमारे इस इनिशिएटिव का फाउंडर चेयरमैन नई प्रोफेसर राम स्वामी एयर साहब ने कहा इस, इसी मंथ से ही सेट वी नीड टू स्पिन द डिबेट वी नीड टू स्पिन द डिबेट इन वी आर वी आर डूइंग ए फेवर टू द रिवर बाई आस्किंग हाउ मच द रिवर नीड्स इन हाउ मच शुड बी टेकन आउट ऑफ द रिवर शुड बी द क्वेश्चन so that that's what in the, from this very same podium he talked about this in the year 2014 the first edition of the india rivers week so uh kafi sare uh, perspectives rakhe gaye hain uh, i just want to touch upon two or three points uh jaise amelika ji ne abdulta ki baat ki ek striking report mere uh, yaad mein aa rahe uh, inter ministerial group ka report sir uh, 2014 2013 bk chaturvedi committee ka report very interestingly um, when uh, the committee was looking into the hydropower issues uh, and also it del delved into the issue of eflows it mentioned that six rivers in the uh, upper headwaters of the ganga should be kept pristine six rivers and it it was but somewhere we 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 lost it uh, where is that recommendation how do we take it forward are there only six pristine rivers are there more pristine rivers which add value to the hydrology of the uh, ganga most revered river वो कहीं ना कहीं खो गया है सो डू वी नो यू नो सुबह ये मैप दिखाया गया डू वी नो हाउ मेनी रिवर्स आर स्टिल प्रिस्टीन एंड विच आर हाइड्रोलॉजिकली सिग्निफिकेंट दैट आर दैट नीड्स टू बी प्रोटेक्टेड स्टेटस को दैट्स दैट्स अ फर्स्ट पॉइंट आई थिंक वी नीड टू सर्ट ऑफ कम टूगेदर एज टेक्निकल ग्रुप सी एस ओस एज एज गवर्नमेंट वी नीड टू सर्ट ऑफ टेक दिस डिस्कशन फॉरवर्ड टू सी वेदर दैट मैप कैन बी प्रोड्यूस्ड coming to the eflows notification of 2018 uh, i wanted to uh, bring your attention to another notification of the central water commission in 2017 uh, i don't know how many of you have seen this no, not notification sorry uh, stand corrected it was a guidelines on connectivity guidelines on connectivity and it talked about four levels of connectivity water of course and it mentioned that there is a committee that is constituted and uh, Uh, Dr. Shashikhar and Prof. Tare were member of the committee. It mentions that you know we will not get into the details because Eflos committee is looking into it. It also talked about sediments. It talks about fish. It talks about um, transport of energy. So now, when you when you look at this environmental flows notification, um, um, as many uh, people feel, I also feel very very optimistic that it's the first time that someone said flows in over abstracted stretches. Uh, are to be re, uh, restored so in that way it is a it's a great entry point for many of us who have been working on environmental flows many for many years now the debatable part is the values now how did they arrive at it the methodology part it part of it Motiv motivations of environmental flows conscious stretch my conscious motivation you know what, what why a particular percentage was um, uh, articulated and notified in the notification is something that we don't know and that needs to be debated because as uh, dr tare said if you look at the monsoonal flows and even the lean flows uh, places like bijnor the notification specifies the flow which are lower than the current flows and monsoonal flows are much much lo lower okay. so there is uh, what i am optimistic is that you know if we uh, could put our brains together you know like manoj ji said in the morning you know wealth of knowledge exists in this room so if we can actually give concrete recommendations to the government to relook at the values for the abstracted uh, uh, fragmented stretch of the river where they have looked at the notification that would be a big big step and uh, uh, i'm hopeful that nmcg will uh, look into this the second question uh, the third question that we need to highlight is if these flows are realized will it restore the connectivity of the river so cwc ne guideline to diya hai dams and infrastructure ke liye but so we need to put the e flows debate into the perspective of connectivity also quite often we uh, as professor tare said we look at it only from the release of water but it should be much beyond beyond that so if e flows is realized will it restore the lateral connectivity will it restore the longitudinal connectivity we need to sort of understand that in 
in in detail so so some of the you know the the responses of the flows to the ecosystem services that are offered by the rivers is something that no one is discussing and debating on that and, and i think that's a big big vacuum and it needs to be sort of addressed today morning we saw a map of uh, the tribute the significant tributaries of the ganga <coughs> who is talking about flows in the tributaries so unless we talk about tributaries and son is an example so you you are working and we are working in the ramganga uh, uh, venkatesh is sitting here he is working on the gomti there are, there are quite a number of us working on smaller tributaries so how do you sort of help the government understand that okay you know if if it is an eflows notification for the ganga then we need to also look at uh, the the tributaries and these are some of the base, basic work that one has done which could be strengthened and taken taken forward the the fourth point is where is water use in this whole debate uh, dr shegar uh, in your address you know you mentioned about this you know we need to sort of some way bring in water allocations into the whole whole picture where is that debate um so for instance we know many many uh, of the uh, tributaries and the, uh, the upper reaches of the ganga are over allocated okay now i mean i i remember uh, 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 dr shegar uh, when he was a secretary he was always talking about you know how do you sort of incentivize agriculture sector to save water and get that water back into the river so sir i mean some somewhere we need to sort of restart that conversation so how do you sort of relook at water allocations and who decides on the priorities like manlika ji was talking about who is deciding on these priorities so uh, brijgobal sir talked about the upstream downstream connection you know sundarbans and this. so we cannot take a stretch wise approach to environmental flows because at the end of the day the ecosystem services which are received at the sundarbans is also an accumulation of what flows from upstream though there can be a debate on you know how much the kosi brings in and the other rivers in the middle stretch brings in but that's an important thing that we need to talk about i think there is an there there's an there's an urgent uh, urgency for us to also move from uh, the, the the theory of flows to a serious discussion on how do we get the water back into a our rivers what's the framework that we we would like to see and i think uh, for the in that context 2016 ganga notification is also a positive you know beginning now uh, though it, it 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 can also go through a series of uh, amendments uh, which can look into the issue of restoration of uh, one avrilata and uh, second uh, on the environmental flows unless we talk about that practical ways of getting water into the uh, water back into the river this discussion uh, will remain uh, a, a theoretical uh, discussion at this point in time um we we work in certain stretches in the madhiganga barrage down to of madhiganga barrage um uh, where uh, ghadiyals are there dolphins are there and lean season uh, there is a struggle uh, madhiganga barrage is a monsoonal flow but uh, monsoonal uh, uh, barrage but we still face crisis during the lean season flow so how do you sort of ensure that the 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 biodiversity hotspots um, not just the cultural hotspots but also the biodiversity hotspots get assured uh, habitat conditions uh, for the species uh, to thrive so i'll uh, leave it at that and uh, thank you sir thank you sir